There are a thousand miles from comfort They're getting ready to move on And throughout this whole transition We'll help you carry on Never be afraid to talk to your parents and your guardians they love you and support you and I know they're completely, just all the time, really annoying but they want you to grow up to be healthy and happy and they want you to just be the best you can be. Don't let pressure change who you are. Always accept criticism and feedback. Work on it to develop yourself. Most importantly, be yourself and accept that people will try to knock you but you just have to get back up and stand tall. If you feel alone, talk and don't be afraid to talk to people. We have taught you about friendship and the importance of self-esteem. Uh, throughout this whole transition, we know that you'll succeed. Uh, we're from St. Aloysius School in Carrick Tool and our project is called Look at Me, Not My Disability. Our aim is to raise awareness about the prejudices against people with intellectual disabilities. And we originally decided on this topic because a girl in our group has a brother with an intellectual disability. Um, while we were researching it, we actually realised that there's major issues with um, prejudice towards people with intellectual disabilities. And um, we, to raise awareness, we invited um, guest speakers from CAA and COPE in to talk to us about what they do and stuff like that. And um, then we did a movie day for the transition years in our school and we showed them a the movie and did a presentation. When we are with you, there's no place we'd rather be. Hi, uh, we're Dylan and Adam from Save Air Small and Barney. We organised a charity event for our uh, Crumlin's Hospital. Uh, everyone took part in this. We had to do in front of this school and to raise awareness for the charity. The sea wants to kiss the golden shore. The sunlight warms your skin. Our project was about mental health. Our project was called Man Up, Speak Out. Because we normally boys don't speak out about how they're feeling. Unlike girls, so then we had a project about mental health and getting everybody to talk about their issues. Like. The sea throws rocks together, but time leaves us polished stones. I'm from Mystery Community School, and we did a project on Christmas Language Fest, um, Games Day, uh, KDYS uh, painting in our local youth club. Um, we planted crocuses um, and we did an uh, indoor soccer tournament in the school which involved uh, students and teachers to play and we fundraised money for St. Vincent de Paul on that. It's basically just uniting with people and giving people support and helping them throughout. Uh, we're from St. Peter's in Passage West. Uh, our project is called Age Exchange, and it was mainly we worked with the elderly community in our in our like in our town, and we just kind of taught them about computer and mobile skills, and we uh, in exchange for like how they lived when they were younger. Like towards the end of the project, they're actually like our friends, and we're going to Spike Island with them next week, so we're taking a trip with all of them. How are you doing? We're from St. Aloysius and we did our project um, on charities that enable uh, the visually impaired and blind. Um, we got speakers to come to our school and we went out to their centres and we had a TY ball to raise money for them as well. And um, from going to all the different organisations we saw that like, we saw all the amazing work that everyone's doing from a day to day basis. People are working there and then people are volunteering as well for no money and they're helping others. We also realised that like, even if it's a small, only a small group of people or like a group of your friends, you can still do amazing work to change someone's life. Our project is based on animal cruelty and it's called We're Not Cool to be Cruel. Um, we started working on our project in September and there are 16 members in our group and we are inspired because a lot of people in our class have pets and it's something that's very important to us, um, the welfare of animals. And uh, raising awareness was a big part of our project so we did a lot of activities such as um, 
like first first year uh, poster competitions and you can see the posters we picked the best three and they're on our poster and uh, we did movie days Easter egg hunts and we did loads more just to on a bake sale to help raise awareness about animal cruelty and um, basically we've learned that um, it's St Vincent de Paul can help a huge range of people like it's just um, it's really inclusive to everyone and it's just it's really it's a really great cause to be helping so we're really proud to be you know supporting the small team project's called canvas of the minds and we went into different areas of mental health so is eating disorders and anxiety disorders and suicide awareness and we held an exhibition in the hall to teach people about what we had learned and loads of people came and we put up a wall of positivity to promote positive thinking and loads, every student contributed to it so they all wrote something nice on the wall and it spread across the whole hall so everybody wrote loads of comments on it and it was really lovely. Skull Community College and we took part in Youth for Justice this year and we kind of focused more on the befriending and fundraising side of it. We also send out students every week to um, different places in the community like the hospital, the primary school, the preschool to help out and um, kind of make friends and talk to people and become a more active member of the local community. Oh, Youth for Justice you for you for you for you for Justice um, we go to St. Al's in Caractool and our project is based on Make-A-Wish Foundation. We chose this project because we wanted to learn more about the work they do for children and their families. So we raised awareness by designing posters and then we hung them up in our school. We also gave a talk to first years and TYs about the work that Make-A-Wish do. We then held a charity ball to fundraise and we raised €1,200 from the ball and we split it then between several charities, Make-A-Wish being one of them. Yeah. So we thoroughly enjoyed the experience, we thought it was really rewarding, especially when we got to give the money to the Make-A-Wish Foundation because we realised that we can make a difference and we helped a child's wish come true. Yeah. It's more seeds on the beat from the nagel in my head. Should have said black rock, cause you know what'll happen. I could only imagine Sister Carmen Snap gonna tell you about the time that we had to rap in any ways. Helping in the Ashland Centre, yeah, handsome Darren, yeah, he was the man. We had a laugh and we had some fun. Pity our time is nearly done. We it's better to walk alongside your own donkey than to ride somebody else's racehorse. You are responsible for yourself. You are your own master. Don't depend on, it, on others to look after you. Look after yourself. It's your family, your mum, your dad, your family who love you. They are really the only people that you can depend on. And yourself. You are responsible for yourself. Next was a big sale we held in the hall. The charity we chose St. Vincent and Paul. Teachers and staff had a lot to be. The students came in and ate all the cake. Oh, the youth for justice. Good morning, everyone. We are leaving Start the Pledge students from the Coombe New Reach. We would like to tell you about our social justice project called The Life Story Book. Every week, we visit Salon Haven Nursing Home to chat with some of the residents. We listen to our stories from younger days to present day. So after our time with the elderly people, we realised our stories were interesting and similar to our own. It was good to be company for people who don't have many visitors. They actually loved sharing their stories. And after the first meeting, we were all more comfortable talking to each other. And they were never grumpy. In fact, they were quite happy to see us. You know, not many people our age give older people a chance. They probably think they're too boring or too old to care about what we do or think, but this project has given us as younger people a chance to understand an older person's life, a chance for them to pass on their stories and an opportunity to keep memories and traditions alive. Thank you for listening, enjoy the day.